I thought it was just a close up, okay. I never yeah. really had a desire to film music videos. But if I ever did, I kind of had an idea how I would go about it. I would just focus on the... I could just focus on the fundamentals of filming. What? Hey, what you doing, man? What you about to do, make a diss track? If so, there's these two guys, Spencer Whiteman, Caleb Hoover. We no, should- <laughs> No, I was just recording some voiceover because Siri sent us their new lens and- Man, forget that. You know what's hot right now? Gear doesn't matter videos. Yeah, gear kinda does matter. Not according to the internet. This man just said the internet. Listen, what if we use this Siri lens to film our first music video? Music video? That's what people wanna see. We finally gonna get to show off our skills. Yo, I know this rapper. Well, she's not a rapper. She's trying to be a rapper. Ah. Stop right there. We're good. Trust me. We actually already have an artist. He is a Grammy Award winning singer and trombonist. People still play that? I used to play the trombone. I played it back in high school. I played it for like seven years. Yeah, I can see that. Wait, you was in high school for seven years? Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. At least we would get to finally use our new drone. No. Nah. Well, at least we'll get to get some dope gimbal shots. What? Don't worry about it. We we'll definitely use some fun gear. All right. I'm listening. We got the Siri. Is it Siri or Siri? Anyway, we got the Siri 24 millimeter lens. Okay. What's up, Anna? We already had the 35 and 50. Oh, a whole bunch of Annas. They're Michael Four Third, so you know we're filming with the GH5. Yes, sir. I say the best for last. I know you're gonna love this. We're filming everything. Yep. The whole video, every shot on a tripod. You gotta be kidding me. You mean, so we're not even gonna film handheld like this? We gotta do that. Come on. Nope. Tripod. You done lost your mind. A trombone and a tripod. Trombone is great, by the way. It's a respectable instrument. No, I, girls I used to get back in high school playing trombone. So this was the first music video that I've ever directed. And for the remainder of this video, I will walk you through all of the gear I used and the why, and some of the challenges I faced working on this video. With the addition of Siri's latest 24 millimeter lens, I now have a complete set of anamorphic lenses. So my strategy for using the three lenses was simple. I would use the 24 millimeter for the wide shots. I would use the 35 millimeter for the medium shots and I would use the 50 millimeter for the tight close shots. 
Now, of course, this video was centered around the 24 millimeter lens since Siri sent it to me, but I wanted to make this video more than that. So that's why I picked a music video to shoot in the first place so I can try something new. And that's also why I decided to shoot with all three of the Siri lenses so that I could you know, really experience shooting a project with a complete set of anamorphic lenses. All right, so now let's talk about my sticks. I felt that my tripod was one of the most important pieces of gear for the shoot. I did not want to use any gimbals or do any handheld shots because I wanted to pay less attention to camera movement and more attention to my artists and the model to help them elevate their on-camera performances. Using a tripod, also helped me to really focus on setting up the best shots possible because I wouldn't be able to fall back on camera movement to make the scene look more interesting. It had to look interesting from the start. So that was the main reason I wanted to shoot this whole video with the tripod. So what's great is that my wife is always down to film the behind the scenes footage for me. Yes. So sweetie, I'm filming this music video. Oh. All right, it might have taken a little convincing, but she finally agreed to film the BTS. And this was actually her first time filming on the Lumix S5. The lens she used were the Lumix 20 to 60 millimeter for the exterior shots and the Sigma 35 millimeter for all the interior shots. And as you already know, I used the GH5 to film the music video. I wouldn't have chosen any other camera for this project because as of right now, I know the GH5 better than any other camera that I own or I've used. All right, let's talk about lighting. I used the Godox SL150 primarily as my key light and I used the Godox SL60 to provide some edge lighting. I just got these Core SWX Bolt 250 LED lights and I decided to use these as accent lights. When shooting on an anamorphic lens, I found, at least for me, that using an external monitor or recorder is a must as I definitely need a bigger screen to make sure that I am nailing my focus. I also uploaded the GH Alex monitor profile to the Ninja 5 so that I could see what my shot would look like once it was color graded. That step right there was crucial because there was no guesswork every time I set up a shot. Now what also contributed to the look of the video is that I used black pro mist filters to remove that digital sharpness or edge from my shots. I use the 1 8 filters. I use these filters all the time. They really give a nice flattering look to skin and they also give you some nice blooming highlights. Um, just the FYI, the 24 millimeter does have a different filter size than the 35 and the 50 millimeter. But luckily I already had a 72 millimeter version of the black pro mist filter and just talking about the black pro mist filters, I'm using them right now so you can see that lamp in the back. The light has that nice soft look to it and uh, that's what I really wanted to go for for this music video. So the plan was to arrive on set at 7 a.m. and then start filming by 7.45 a.m. I was a little optimistic with the schedule. After a coffee and donut run, our actress and artist getting ready, and then the initial setup of all my equipment, it was already 8 a.m. So myself and Ben, who was my production coordinator, went over the shot list and then headed outside for the exterior shots. Right as we finished and got the artist in place for some test shots, YC arrived and by 8.30 a.m. we were ready to start filming. So let's jump straight into challenges and talk about my first shot of the day. Well, first I wanna let you guys know, I wasn't nervous at all, even though it was my first uh, music video shoot, and that was really because I had a shot list to keep me organized. Using a shot list is such a confidence builder because you don't have to worry about making things up as you go. So for the first shot, I used a 24 millimeter lens. I wanted this super low wide shot showing off the artist, the model, and most of the building. In my head, I thought it would be a great establishing shot as well. The only problem was I didn't like it. I did not like it at all. We tried to move the camera around to hit the shot from different angles and I still hated the shot. And let me tell you, this is what was so good about using a tripod. If I was doing movement in that shot, I probably would have just shot it and just, you know, let the movement uh, tell the story. And then in post, I would be like, you know what? I don't like that shot, 
But let me tell you guys, having YC there for my first music video shoot was like having cheat codes. If you guys don't know, he has made hundreds of videos on YouTube teaching filmmakers how to make high-end music videos. So I asked him for his thoughts on the shot, this wide shot that I hated, and his answer was simple. He went on to explain to me why he prefers the look of tight shots when filming music videos. And the funny thing was, I actually instantly remembered him saying that in one of his videos. So still shooting on the 24 millimeter, I went in closer for a medium shot instead of that extreme wide shot. And I was much happier with the look of that shot. So YC, thanks. So for every scene that we shot, my goal was to shoot a wide shot and a tight shot and a medium shot if we had time. So I actually decided to use lighting outside as well. So I used the Godox SL152 for this shot as I wanted to add a little reflection to that microphone and then also a little bit more light to Saunders to kind of separate him from the background. I also used my KNF ND filter on the 35 millimeter, which really gave this shot some nice creamy bokeh. I did order an ND filter for the 24 millimeter, but unfortunately it did not arrive until the day after the shoot. Now I wanna talk about this really quick because I haven't seen people talk about it in many videos, but because of COVID, I had all of the crew members wear masks. The artist and the model did have masks on when they arrived, but of course they had to take it off when they started performing. So because of COVID, I decided to keep them six feet apart for the entire video, but I still tried to find creative ways to have them interact. I, I think they were still able to pull off some great performances, even though they had to keep their distance from each other. So big thanks to them for, you know, just being so talented. Now, even though I did end up getting more medium shots, than wide shots than I had originally intended, I was still able to find some wide shots with the 24 millimeter that I was extremely happy with. So like I said, I didn't have an ND filter uh, for the 24 millimeter, but I just changed my aperture to F16, and then I used the Godex SL150 to provide some edge lighting uh, for Saunders, and then I used the SL60 uh, w to provide some side lighting for the model Achille. Uh, this wide silhouette shot was probably my favorite shot of the entire shoot. Now for me, one of the coolest attributes of an anamorphic lens is the beautiful horizontal flares that they produce. The 35 and 50 millimeter definitely give off stronger flares than the 24 millimeter lens. So I would use that to my advantage. If I wanted more flares in a shot, I would shoot with the 35 or 50 millimeter. And if I wanted less flares in a shot, I would shoot with the 24 millimeter. The great thing is if you are filming in a controlled environment like I was, it's really easy to control how much of the flares will be in your shot simply by adjusting the height and direction of your lights like I'm doing right here. And you can also attach a lens hood to the lenses to eliminate even more flares. So at the end of the shoot, when we had about 30 minutes left, I decided to do all the remaining shots with the 24 millimeter lens. And so I filmed all the opening shots that you saw in the music video last, uh, pretty much because it was so dark when we first arrived and I wanted the warehouse to be filled with light for those shots. So using the 24 millimeter for these shots was cool because I could get really close to the action and still have everything that I wanted to show in the scene still in view. So the very last shot uh, that I got for the music video was not on my shot list. And I decided to have Saunders sit in this chair. And what I liked about it, the shot was that there was a little window um, behind him that kind of led to an office. And I decided to put one of the bolt LED lights behind him on the other side, you know, of the window. And I moved it around a little bit until the flare was just in the right spot where I wanted it. And um, I think it was a, a pretty cool shot and I'm glad that um, you know we had a few extra minutes so I can get it. I think I probably used that shot as the um, kind of um, main shot to build the whole uh, music video around. Well guys, that is how I directed my very first music video with the anamorphic lens or lenses and a tripod. Big thanks to Siri for sending me their new 24 millimeter lens. And also a big shout out to my crew that helped me make the music video. 
Big shout out to YC for coming out. You can find the link to Siri's new lens and all the social media accounts for everyone who helped me on the shoot in the description below. And in conclusion, while I am not sure if I'll be filming more music videos, I definitely appreciate the process for filming them. And I learned a lot. I hope you guys were able to take away some good nuggets of information uh, from, I guess, my journey on filming this music video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Rolling. Action. Maybe you could kind of bob your head, listen to it, feel the music. Smoothest songs in the world.